How, how many times did you do the test? 20 times. Oh, what? 20. I just, I just counted, like, uh, was it on Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, it is 20. Oh my gosh, but finally you did it. I would like to ask is why did you need to do PTE? For my nursing hydration. I signed up with few platforms. Like they are really, they, they are bigger, even bigger than your platform. Okay. I did practice for them, with them. I also joined classes, but I was, still, I was still not passing my exam. So one day I just decided, let me search up on YouTube. Maybe I will see other YouTube, uh, other PT platform. And then your channel came up. And I watched some of your videos and I, like, I liked it. So I decided to email your admin. I search up on, because I was not using Facebook. I search up on uh, Instagram. They came up, they told me, well, you need a Facebook account. And I had to open one. So yeah, so that's how I find out about you guys. Just searching up on YouTube. <laughs> wow. So I, I, I loved your videos. So I said, well, let me give it a try. So yeah. What did you find the most difficult about PTE? So what, which part was the most challenging for you? Reading. Mm. Reading, yeah. writing. And listening, the way I was taught before to do those questions, mm -hmm. I had to learn a lot. Like reading, I had to learn all, like I had to do all the vocabs and, uh, you know, all the grammar and stuff. And it was like, you know, I did study a lot, a lot, a lot. When I first joined, I first, I, at first I got the two-hour course. And when I got the two-hour course, I only practiced, like I got it one night before my take my exam and uh i only listened because it was not enough time for me to prepare i was like i followed your trips like the tips and trips for speaking and the next day all the same i was doing before i was only scoring 66 in speaking but after getting the two hours course i scored 82 in speaking just for one night i passed uh speaking and write and write and reading so mm. I felt writing and listening. So mm. when I came home, I was so like, I didn't know what to do. And then I emailed your uh, admin again. I told them, well, I got the two hours course. I felt I really need my, uh, to pass this test as soon as possible. And they told me like the best course for you to get will be the two weeks course. So, and then you're going to have access on the platform and the mock exam. And uh, at, before getting that, I was not sure. I was not convinced. And then I requested to join the trial class. And then I ended up getting the two hours course. So I followed everything you guys two advised. Course. Two, two, week two course. weeks. Two weeks. Course. Yeah. 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 I followed everything. Like I used your, you know, the timetable, the one, the study, you know, the study, your like the timetable, the, the study one you have. The time, yeah. So I, I followed the study plan. So I followed everything. I was practicing the questions the way you guys just, you know, how many, the, the amount of question, questions you want us to practice every day. And I was joining classes. If I miss a class, I will ask for a recording. You were speaking before. Or was it, was it, it was 60, It was 66. 66. So what did you do differently that it went up above 80? The microphone, you know, before like joining, like, you know, finding out about your platform, I was not fixing my microphone. No one ever told me that, you know, you have to adjust the volume. You have to make sure, you know, about like how to put the, um, how the, you know, the microphone positions. So I followed everything you, you guys teach about microphone position. And uh, I followed the template, you know, before the way I was doing like describe image, like your templates, like before the way I was doing describe image was just, to mention the highest and lowest point, that's what I was taught with other platforms. But when I joined, Ellie told us that you have to mention like all the key points. Yeah. This card image and they told us to speak for not less than 30 seconds. So I followed before I was only told, I was told to only speak for 25 seconds. I do believe that you know there are other centers who are teaching different tips and tricks and i'm not saying yeah. that they are incorrect but maybe yeah. uh, they are working for some people and you know maybe for you you needed something yeah. different 
So I think yeah, yeah depending exactly. on the person. Yeah. So um, yeah. What, what about uh, what about writing? Um, is there any anything uh, different that you were doing for for writing questions related questions? Exa uh, example for example, uh, Samahai's written test. Yeah. The way I was doing it before was just um, I have to understand the test. That's what I was taught. Understand the test and yeah. summarize it. You can't use the you know the exact word. You need to he word it. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I've been doing before. And one, I followed what you guys teach, like, you know, I don't have to, you know, change the whole thing. Mm. I, that, I think that's what helped me with the uh, writing. And also because I was failing, right, uh, um, filling the blanks, reading and writing. Mm. And yeah, I think that's why my, uh, reading, my writing was always low. So when I joined the class, they told me, like, for you to pass writing, before I was trying to do all the questions but when I joined your class I learned to focus on the most important questions and the questions that will give you more points so I focus on uh, filling the blanks reading and writing you are uh, a working mom right your, your mom yeah. too. and and you know sometimes I have students saying oh I'm very busy I don't have time to study uh, I'm working yeah. or I'm studying or I have children you don't understand mm -hmm. how, how it's like it is really hard if you have kids but you have to know the reason why you are doing it like sometimes we need to sacrifice a lot to get what we really need you have to know the reason why we need the test first because if it was not important I was, I was not going to to bother do it. So I was like, I will just, in the morning, I will just start, like, when the kids are sleeping, like, I will do the, uh, I can try and practice the questions that I need to concentrate more, more focus. The listening part, like the um, summarized spoken test, I will do the write, uh, filling the blanks, writing and writing. So I just followed it, you know, I will just follow the study plan. So we choose the questions that need me to focus more, like the questions that need you to be more focused. I will do them in the morning when the kids are sleeping or before going to bed when, when I already put them in bed. But like the speaking, like the speaking, I know the speaking, it is good to do it uh, when like read aloud, when there's some noise to get used to it. I also, I always leave them play and then I will bring my computer and then do the, my uh, like speaking, describe image, read aloud, like all the speaking, I was doing them when the kids were awake. So I, I will do like an hour or an hour and a half. It depends on the time I have before noon, like early in the morning. And then in the, later in the afternoon when the kids are playing, I will just bring my laptop after having lunch and just do some questions. And wow. also I was, when I was doing night shift at work, I would just take my phone because I, uh, the speaking, you can't practice on the phone. So I used to do the reading. When I'm on night shift, if I have some free time or my break time, I will just do the reading, fill in the blanks, or uh, write from dictation. When I did the mock, I got feedback from, the first one was from Kay. She told me where to improve. And then the second one I did, I got feedback, I think it was from Ellie. So I just followed everything they told me. I think it is good to get feedback as well. So to do the homework and in like, Speaking at first when I the first time I spent speaking to Ellie, I was just going eleven out of fifteen. So I sent one and she told me you are too fast. So you need to work on your like speed and stuff. And after sending like only ten, she told me you are good now. So and then I knew I was good because I was throwing like fourteen out of fifteen or thirteen. So I was happy with it. I think joining the class is really really good because we can ask the questions. Joining the class or listening to them later and ask the questions to your teacher and sending homework to know your level and take the mock. Some like on, I don't know how I did it on the reading. I didn't get questions, the repeated question a lot. But thanks to the grammar class I was joining, it did help me a lot to pass my reading because I only had like one repeated question in filling the blanks, writing, and reading. Yeah. So, but thanks to the grammar class. Grammar class, right? Yeah, the Saturday grammar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She was really, she was lovely. Those time I was missing classes, she will send me the uh, the the study. What you know, the revision in a form in a PDF, 
and then I will get because sometimes I don't like watching the recording video. We just go through PDF, and it did really help me a lot. Yeah, oh, that's great. And uh, repeat like oh, I had all the repeat repeat sentences, uh, right from dictation. And you know that you know the way you guys do right from dictation is the best. Like it was, I think right from the, I got a lot of points on mm -hmm. right from dictation because the way I was doing it before it was different. Like, you know how I have to, you can add some words. I was mm -hmm. not told that before, but thanks to you guys, I was able to do that. I think it did help me a lot. And so uh, if you have one, one advice that you want to give to the current PTE students, what would you yeah. tell? Them? Um, the first thing is, to know not, not to give up easily to know why you are doing it it is good to spend then do the test multiple times like me i was spending before but i was not the people i was working with it was not working for me mm. so if you have like a platform you did the test more than two or three times it is not working try to change another platform to see the tips and tricks maybe it is going to help you If they are if they are your students, I will tell them to trust you guys and follow everything you guys are saying. Because there was time I had doubts. I was thinking maybe um, PT magic. I don't think it's for me. I don't think it's going to work with me. I think it's just for other people. Until I passed the test, and then I was like, oh my goodness! I wish I met you guys before, like you know, like a year ago. I was not going to spend a lot of money, but yeah, they have to trust what you guys are doing and uh, follow all the tips and tricks. Meet Eric, a PTE aspirant. Eric lost his valuable time and money after having spent thousands of dollars to pass his exam during the last six months to apply for permanent residency in Australia. Thanks to his friend Mona, who told him about the PTE Magic Online platform. It's an AI-based PTE practice test simulation platform that helps you prepare for PTE academic with a comprehensive question bank and automated scoring system. The platform offered him advanced features like scored speaking in real time, mock test with a scorecard and details, real repeated questions. It even gave him access to useful exam tips and essential templates for effective study without any trainer. Now, Eric is extremely confident of clearing his exam. Having a clear picture of his performance with the marking system similar to the actual PTE exam, he is just one step closer to his Australian dream. Start your practice with PTE Magic now.